guys, welcome to Farragut Fridays. For this segment, we're going to be talking about the football game themes. We had an amazing first football game of the season with the theme of Toga Night. Toga Night is a night where seniors wear any color togas with gold accents such as crowns, headbands, bracelets, and necklaces. Sophomores, juniors, and freshmen wore all white and bring baby powder to throw in the air and bring more excitement to the game. Hawaiian night was August 26 and people wore Hawaiian shirts, sunglasses, leggings, and grass skirts. There were lots of bright colors making Farragut stand out. September 2nd was Jersey Night. The students wore their favorite jerseys or Farragut colors. This past week we had Admiral Night on September 9th and everyone wore full Farragut gear. It's always good to see our school colors in the stands. USA Night is on September 16th and wears as much red, blue, and white as you possibly can. This will also be our next home game at Farragut. On September 23rd, the theme will be Neon Night. Wear lots of neon colors and make the stands glow. Face paint is also highly recommended. September 30th is Dark Mode Night. Wear all dark clothes and support the ads on to a win. Camo Night is on October 14th. The colors should be brown, green, and black, but any dark colors would work as well. Peak Out Night is on October 24th. Wear all the pink that you can. Pink Out represents the awareness of Breast Cancer Month. This is an important night, so let's pack out the stands. The last game of the season is Farmer Nights against Bearden. Even though it is an away game, the ads need all the support they can get. Wear overalls, flannels, farmer hats, and cowboy boots, and cheer the ads to a victory. We hope everyone has an amazing time this season, and we need as many students at the games to bring more enthusiasm and excitement. The wonderful people. Okay, this is Aiden Skelton. I'm with Ernesto. Alright, what are the three positive things about Farragut High School? I think the atmosphere is pretty fun and the school is pretty big and I like the football team. So, what are some positive things about Farragut that um, I like my friends and the environment is pretty good. What club are you in? I'm in Key Club, a and Egg Fest, DECA, and Joy wow. Q. That is impressive. I know. Out of all of those clubs, which one would you say is your favorite? Probably DECA. <laughs> what are three positives about Farragut High School this year? Um, Farragut is very welcoming. All the teachers are very good. Um, and you learn. Learn a lot. What is one negative so far at Farragut High School? Then I guess the only negative would be sometimes you're in the class with people you don't know, but that's not really a negative. You just get to know them better. Hello, Farragut. I'm Daniel, and this week on Farragut Friday, we're going to be covering the new basketball head coach and how his players feel about him. We're here with Dominic Van Ecker, and we're trying to get his opinion on the new basketball coach. So what do you think about the new coach y'all got, J.P. Burris? Uh, I think he's a pretty good man. Uh, he's going to push us hard this year to uh, go far, hopefully. Um, looking forward to it. We all are. I think he's an awesome guy, great coach. Um, he really enthusiastic, keeps us going. I think he's going to be a great coach for us this year. Um, coach Burris, I mean, he's a great guy. Uh, good background, good coaching experience. This is his first actual head coaching job, but I've, I'm excited. I'm really excited because I I believe that because it's his first one, he has a lot to prove. I think he's going to work us really hard. I think he's got everything he's told us. He's got the right mindset. And I mean, I love everything that he's about. And I think if we just buy in and we go with him and stick with him, that we'll be just fine this year. And we'll be able to run it back like we did last year, if not further. Hello, Ferry. I'm here with Coach Burris. We're going to be uh, <laughs> questioning him today. What, what do you think you could do to get the boys back in your style of coaching? Uh, I think it just takes time. The more time I spend with you guys, the more you learn how I operate, what we're going to do as a program. I think the smoother it will go. 
it's going to take time to kind of transition you guys into what we're willing to do. It's going to be a program. Sir, so, what do you think your biggest challenge is going to be this year? Uh, trying to replace 55 points a game from six seniors that graduated last year. Um, you know, we've got guys returning that are good. We've got young guys coming in that are good. Um, 55 points a game in high school is not easy to replicate, so I think that will be our biggest challenge. Thank you, Coach. The comedy improv team at Farragut is excited to announce the new improv show. If you enjoy a good laugh, then the improv show is where you should be at. The first show is today, September 9th in the Red Wing in the Ferguson Theater. If you can't make it to that show, you got plenty more shows to show up to. October 28th and December 16th. Adam Hoyman, one of the members of the improv team said, it's an hour and a half of fun and awesome. Anva Garcia, another member of the comedy improv team, said it's a way for people to have a spotlight and the audience has fun and builds community. Both of these statements were answers to the question, why should people come to the improv show? Improv is helpful by improving mental capacity, imagination, and thinking on a limb. Watching improv can also have the same effect. Also, improv is fun to watch and it improves your mood. You can go for the laughs or just for a friend, whatever it is to help out the improv group. We hope to see you there and we know the improv team appreciates it. Just as a reminder, Farragut Fridays are updated every other week. Have a great day, Admirals, and be safe.